as we have a look at the athletes who qualified yesterday of course one of them is the younger brother of Alexandra Tavernier the world and European medalist Hugo and we've also got the two Ukrainian athletes the two uh, Mikhailos Havriliuk and uh, Kokan and as we know typically as you get older and into your 30s those are some of your best years for hammer throwing so interesting to see just how he develops and because of his youth he's perhaps not quite as strong as some of the great poles including Pavel Fidek a multiple world champion but he is incredibly fast and that's what the hammer's about building that rotational acceleration as you turn inside this circle so Hungary another great country with the hammer throwing tradition Cella here well looks just like looks like it skimmed the outside of the cage there to the right hand side so that affected his distance so we're looking at a man with a lifetime best of uh, 69 meters and uh, 8 centimeters most of these men are over 70 meters with Kokan the only athlete over 80 there is a uh, Franceskakis, the Greek. So we wait uh, for this measurement to come up, but uh, won't be fully representative of what Shella is uh, capable of. It's 61.72 for the Hungarian. 61.72. From Greek, 76.85. Result from this year. So, Francis Skakis, European under 20 silver medalist, behind Kokan in Sweden in Boros two years ago. 76.85 at best. So, winding up to throw the hammer, building that acceleration and release, looking effortless when the technique is spot on so already a, a Greek medal a few moments ago with Karidi in the triple jump and they had one yesterday in the men's shot put of course 72-94, that is a good start to the competition for Franceskakis. Olivieri, another medal contender, and he was the bronze medalist behind Kokan and Franceskakis. See a theme coming here. 74-22, his lifetime best in Rovereto in Italy. Hugo Tavernier in the circle for his first throw. This could be another good one. And over 70 meters. So as mentioned, the uh, brother of the European silver medalist and uh, world medalist from 2015, Alexandra. Let's see what he's managed here. 71-51. Well, second best behind Franceskakis so far. And here is the first sight of Kokan. So one of four men over 80 metres this year. Three metre improvement in Hungary recently. The 20-year-old. World under 18 champion, world under 20 silver medalist, European under 18 and under 20 champion. 
And just look at his speed as he builds here. Looks wonderful. Let's have a look at this throw. Wow. There is the championship record mark. That he's not too far away from. And it's less than a metre short as well, that championship record of the European under-23 record. Seventy-six, seventy-six. So, look at that gap from Kokan to Francis Gakis of Britain, who had been in the proverbial or virtual COVID-friendly hot seat. Carlson then, Ragnar Carlson of Sweden, seventeen ninety-two. That's good enough for fifth place thus far. So at the moment we've got uh, two athletes from Ukraine in the medal positions along with Frances Gakis of Greece. Carlson waiting for this measurement though. 71-54 and he moves past Tavernier and uh, Havriliuk. And this is the second effort from Havriliuk and he is uh, closer to that 75 meter mark than he's been before. Well, we said it was slightly harsh yesterday to call him the other Ukrainian, but so impressive is uh, Kokan. So, well, this is turning out similar to the thrilling men's shot put changes that we saw yesterday and still a long way to go in this hammer final of course. Havriliuk then, 72-67 in the second round to move up into the bronze spot over a metre ahead of that previous improvement for Carlson who's just three centimetres in front of Tavernier as you can see. So that means we move into the third round. Gabor Cella of Hungary. So the two marks there in the field, 70 and 75, and he's short of the first of those. Well, I mentioned uh, Hungary's hammer throwing tradition. It was in Hungary, in uh, Sikeshva Hirvar last week that uh, Kokan went over 80 metres. It was a great competition across track and field all round. World Athletics uh, Continental Tour Gold Meeting. Really stellar lineup, and to be honest, it's the uh, some of the field events here which do have great lineups. When you consider that we've also got the best women's discus thrower this year, Yurinda Van Klinken, to come in her final a little later this evening. So keep up to date with the results, standings, schedules, medal table and all the rest of it on the European Athletics website. This does Frances Gakis of Greece. Sends this hammer long and beyond 75 metres. Well, Mihailo Kokan is come up and relief. 71-11. Tavernier in the third round. So at one point he was in the bronze medal spot. Can he grab that back? 70 metres there, that line. So it doesn't look like that will be any improvement for Hugo Tavernier. France having a decent championship so far and of course mostly setting themselves up for finals. They got two medals in the men's 10,000 yesterday. Mikhailo Kokan in the third round now. Can he get any closer to 80 metres? It's going to be long beyond 75 once again and close to that championship record. Stage 
feel as though this is likely to start with a 7. Let's see what this measurement is. Steel's just 20 years old and incredibly impressive hammer thrower. Carlson looks on as does Kogan and... But leading the way, the three favourites, each individually winning their particular semi-finals. Avriluk, he's currently in third position and would do well to try and extend that advantage with others including Tavernier looking to pip him. And by the way, 75-23 is the mark of Franceskakis in second. It's 73 18. So 73-18, so he's improved throughout his series so far. Always a mark of a good competitor, and that does mean that we still have two Ukrainian athletes in the medal spots. Well, two great Greek uh, athletes in the final. Mema just uh, squeezing in in the last round of qualification, I seem to remember. 60-73 so far. Well, as a reference point, 8th place is 66-29. Oh. And he just falls out of the circle. Frustrating for Mema. So he's trying to get himself in that top eight in order to guarantee three more throws. Fist bump from Franceskakis. So Miku now looking to improve and he needs 25 centimeters in order to make it into the top eight. So Mahana Andre Miku willing it on and so the white line there 70 should be over 67 meters and what he needs oh, yes. it is 67 43 so that moves him up into 7th position. So it looks as though that is our top 8 and the uh, throwing order will be reversed with the cello going first for the final 3 rounds in this competition as the medalists seal their spots. So you can see there's quite a gap between Olivieri and Miku of best part of four meters. Well, the sun is out in Tallinn. Much better conditions than the storm that we had yesterday morning. And I think the circle was still in the process of drying out by the time that these guys came to qualify. So we've lost Abdu of France, Varga of Hungary, Shaba South of Belarus and Mema of Greece. So here we are after three rounds these are the standings in the men's hammer final. Okay, here we go, Gabor Teller. Well, all the anticipation, but uh, not the smoothest start to the second half of this final. So 
So 66, 38 remains his best. Miku of Romania here in Tallinn at the European Athletics Under-23 Championships. Hope you're enjoying the live coverage and uh, thanks as well to our official partners Spa Le Gruyere and uh, Mondo uh, we make this coverage possible from these championships. So Miku 67-43 Olivieri, 71-11, the place above him, so quite a lot needed in order to improve. And Miku, a lifetime best of 68-98. So there is a bit of a gap, but at least he can afford to really go for it. Start at 7 well, Olivier is someone who would be disappointed to come away with sixth place, I think. European under 20 bronze three years ago. Really good speed and keeps his balance nicely. Once again, he's over 70. There's a nice clean throw. Well, Ferrara battled well in the uh, shot put at one point, had a medal Spartan and it was taken away from him. You feel like uh, Olivieri has improved. He has 71.95, so that puts him into fourth position in the fourth round still. This is Ragnar Carlsen of Sweden in fifth place. Capable of five metres further at best. Willing it to go further and opportunity of a medal for Ragnar Carlsen. He's closer to 75 metres. Waiting patiently now. 73.85, well that goes ahead of Havriliuk and into third place and it's over to the Ukrainian to try and respond. Over to the Hammer final now, Kokan, what can he produce in this fifth round? As you can see, already with uh, three throws over 75 metres from the 20 year old Ukrainian Wearing that blue bib, showing that he's the European under-23 leader. And has a decent lead in this competition. As expected. Franciscakis, who was second behind him a couple of years ago at under-20 level. It's also the case today. There's been a good battle for bronze. Carlson, Havriliuk, Olivieri and Tavernier. We'll see that result in a moment. This is the battle for likely the bronze medal. Havriliuk in fourth spot at the moment. 73-18. He's had it snatched away from him by Carlsen of Sweden. This is the last chance then to improve. Kylo Havriliuk needs 73-85. This could be really close. Ah, oh, 72-73. So, looks to me like that means Carlson gets a medal for Sweden. There's still one Ukrainian on the podium. Last few throws here. Carlson. Well, in order to get silver, he'd need 75-23. That's the spot of Franceskakis of Greece. And he's not going to do that, but... Uh, off balance and out of the circle there. That is, I think, the first medal for Sweden, just hearing the stadium announcer saying at these championships. A chance of another with uh, Henrik Larsson, defending champion, going in the 100 final. But Carlsen 
takes bronze and just two throws remaining. So Ragnar Karlsson follows up European under 18 bronze five years ago and now has the same colour at under 23 level. And it looks at the moment like Francis Gakis will do the same but with the under 20 and under 23 silver. His lifetime best, 76.85, 77.88 is the leading mark of Kokan. And so it's the silver medal for Christos Franciscakis. And another medal for Greece at these championships. I make that their third. And only a few competitions have been decided. So close to his best there with 75-23. And now Kokan, just to see whether he can add gloss to this title. 20 years of age. And surely, likely, and probably his uh, best years as a hammer thrower to come. 77-88. You can see there he improved with his first three throws. Here we go, winding up so fast and just skimming off the outside of the cage. But uh, applause for the crowd. Mikhailo Kokan, European under 18, under 20, and now under 23 gold. <laughs> he showed his strength. And job well done. And I'm sure he'll only continue to get stronger, Phil. That point I made about uh, hammer throwers tend to be better into their 30s and maybe not as strong as this point as, let's say, the great Poles like Pavel Fidek, but uh, surely likely to get stronger. And a great sign of things to come with a completion of the set of European age group medals to add to his recent 80 meter throw. I just wonder whether he can be the very first man to get the full set having had three age group gold medals of under 18, under 20 and under 23. How long would it be before he manages to win at the European Senior Championships? Well one has a feeling that in another 12 months time he might well be challenging the likes of Pavel Fajdek and Wojciech Nowitzki in Munich when we go to Munich for the next European Championships which will be part of the multi-sport European Championships nine sports all joining together in the German city 50 years after the Munich 1972 Olympic Games but for the moment rather than looking forward and backwards let's deal with the present and celebrate the three men who've got the medals in the hammer Yes, we wondered whether there would be two Ukrainians on the podium. In the end, it's uh, one man in the centre and similar blue and yellow colours there for Sweden. I know we're commenting before the start of these championships that the kits can be quite similar, but uh, Kokan in the uh, blue kit of Ukraine. And then the Greek, Franciskakis, taking the silver. Kokan, Frances, Gakis and Karlsson, Ukraine, Greece and Sweden. As we look at uh, the top six here on the first page of results. And then those who completed the men who were in the hammer final. And everyone over 60 metres.